I am very grateful and honestly a little surprised at the continuing interest in 707 as a band. Our recording career professionally lasted from about 1979 until mid-1982, and during that time, we recorded four albums. But we wrote a lot more songs than what appeared on the albums. In fact, in the early days, when we were a band knocking around Los Angeles trying to get interest from record companies, we recorded several demos, which are demonstration recordings that we would play for record companies to show them our studio capabilities and also demonstrate some of our songs and they would listen to hear if we were writing hits or if we had anything that they thought was worth investing money in. Well, we recorded a lot of these demos and some of those early demo songs still exist and honestly, some of them are not bad. So on this particular video, I'm going to share three early 707 songs with you that didn't appear on any of our albums, but they were still pretty good songs. The first song was called Lifetime Lover, and actually we played it a lot in our early club days, and we recorded it a couple times in a couple different demo sessions. Now, all three of these recordings are from the same demo session, and I found them on a cassette. For those of you youngsters who don't remember cassettes, cassettes were kind of a, a difficult recording medium because the tape was very narrow and had a lot of hiss to it and a lot of phasing problems, but that was the state of the art at the time. So these were cassette recordings that I did my best to revive with some of my digital trickery. Uh, this first song, Lifetime Lover, is something that Duke and I wrote in Link's apartment in Santa Monica one day, probably 1978. And there was a piano there. Duke sat at the piano. I sat down with a legal pad, and we just started hacking away at it. A couple hours later, we had the song Lifetime Lover, which is a very nice, likable tune. I don't know that it was necessarily a 707 song in the end, as we attempted to become more of a rock and roll band, but it was still a good song. The second song is called Need to Reach You. It's something that Kevin Russell and I wrote, and I honestly always liked this song. I liked the uh, feel of it. I liked the sort of progressive nature of some of the instrument breaks, which you'll hear. So I liked it, but it didn't end up on any of our albums. And the third song, was a song that was definitely not a 707 song. It was something that I wrote called uh, When You Go. And it was a quasi-calypso sort of reggae, I don't know, kind of song. And originally I sang the demo and then Kevin wisely said, let me sing it. And I got out of the way and he sang it. So as you listen to these recordings, remember that these are not professional recordings. They were done early on, on a 16-track, in a little demo studio. Every once in a while, the mixes do suffer in when you go. The bass drum is way too loud. But, and the piano on Lifetime Lover is, is phasey. But despite these little imperfections, I think you're going to hear and enjoy these early 707 songs. And just to make them more interesting to listen to, I will even include the lyrics here in this video so you can sing along. So for your dining and dancing pleasure, here are early unheard 707 demos. And as I continue going through these early cassettes, I may even find some more later on. Lifetime lover, uh, need to reach you, and when you go. Hope you enjoy it. Believe in me and be my lifetime lover. Play your life and 
spend your nights with me
Don't 